Hey guys, GregGamer34 here. Uh, today, I took my screen that I have made before and I turned it into a y equals mx plus b graphing calculator, I guess you could call it. Yeah, I guess it's calculator. Uh, yeah, I know I went on to another guy's plot, but luckily that is an unclaimed plot. And as soon as it gets claimed, I will move my shit out of its way. So, how it works. Well, first of all, it can only do 15 by 15 because I didn't want to make it 5 bit. I just wanted it 4 bit. So 15 by 15 is the largest 4 bit number. Um, so yeah, here, let's get going with it. Um, everybody should know the equation. Y, whoops, y equals mx plus b. If you're familiar with that equation, you can do uh, other things with it. So we could have y equals, <coughs> um, <coughs> let's say 2x and what might as well plus four. Now how this works is a two-step user input thing. First of all, uh, the B is your y-intercept is going to be this line here, and then your mx is the slope, which is this bottom line. So we want 2x plus four. Simple how we do that. We just, we're going to go to our y-intercept, which is here. We want four. Going to save it to the y-intercept. And we're going to do this first one right here, which is manual tick. Or I'll name it clock. And bam, we'll do manual clock. So now it's going to plot a point at positive 4. So it did that. Next, it doesn't matter, we can leave that in there. Next, we can do our. Um, slope which is 2x oh that's number 4 so here's the number 2 because there's the least significant bit and then we go ahead and click execute so as you watch <coughs> <coughs> it's gonna start going now it's running at I, I don't remember the clock speed but I had to lower it because when it would finish it would loop back around and start plotting points down here for whatever reason that may be but it seems to be working just fine. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes it likes to continue plotting. Sometimes it doesn't. But this is my like first go at this. And yeah. So let's see. We got that, which is as good as we can get because we can't plot up here because you know this is the 16th row here and it only does 4 bit so yeah it can't plot up there so that is all done let's try another example so this is only for debugging mode when you're done it resets everything which is nice about this so all we have to do is reset the screen we come in here and let's say we wanted to do uh, y equals 3x plus 2. Did I do plus 2 last time? No, I did plus 4. Yeah, okay. So now we're going to have to come into here. Plus 2, save, manual tick. Good. Now we just need to do our 3x, which is here. Uh, and for some reason it didn't go. So this is when debugging mode comes in ha handy. You just click the debug thing. Just reset screen just in case. Alright. Slope, save to y-intercept. Maybe because I went too fast. Manual clock. We could input our 3. And what the heck is it's not working? I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I figured out the problem. It there was a timing issue, fixed it, and we're ready to go again. So we want three x plus two. We go ahead and save two into the y. Give that a couple seconds, and then we'll go ahead and click manual clock. This time we'll wait for it to appear. There. Well, and it doesn't matter if we leave that there or not. Then we want three x, and we're going to go ahead and click execute. and there it goes. So right now it's going up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, 
and it shall continue to do this until it reaches a carryout. Um, so yeah, sh what just happened is it just reached the carryout. It caused this to retract because of this memory unit that I have here and the way it's set up. Um, yeah, so it caused the clock to stop, and then it also went through and reset um, right here when it gets a carry out from here. This is to prevent a one tick pulse coming out because that happens a lot with insta carry headers. Then one tick pulse comes through. This uh, mono stable, or yeah, I guess it's a mono stable or whatever pulse extender extender comes through. Comes this way for all timing purposes. This is what this is. It comes up here, resets this register, comes down here, resets the program counter here, which isn't actually being used as a program counter in this case. It's just being used to uh, decode different sets here in binary. Like it'll output a binary number, and then that binary number will decode onto here depending which X value I want. Um, yeah. So. Let's try one more thing, and then I guess that'll be it. So go ahead and click that just for the heck of it, and everything's cleared. Now let's try, <coughs> um, I haven't done any big numbers lately, y equal or ever, I guess, 6x plus 1. I don't think I've done that yet. So we'll go into the line recept of one, save, and then we'll do manual clock, and then we wanted six x. Here's six. Um, once again, must be a timing issue. I'll be right back. All right, so I figured it out. It was a timing thing that I had messed up before, messing things up. So I just needed to put a four tick repeater on this line on this AND gate here to yeah. Besides that, uh, let's get to it again. 6x plus 1. We want the 1. Save to y-intercept. Manual clock. Needless to say, there should be a 1. Good. Now, we want 6x. And let's execute. going to go up 6 over 1, up 6 over 1, that kind of deal. Done. Now, I'm kind of curious. Let's do the Grandmaster reset here, reset screen. What happens if we don't want anything in our Y-intercept and we just want to execute? That's what happens. Instead of plotting the first point here, it'll plot the first point here, and then go up 6 over 1. That's the difference. So if you don't remember, I can uh, jog your memory real quick. We're doing this. And then doing manual clock. Whoops. Here, let's reset everything. <coughs> We could save one to the y intercept, manual clock, what the heck, beer right back. I'm a dummy and I had this bottom line on, that couldn't be on. Um, so we want one to save there, and then we want to execute, ah crap messed up again. Alright, let's clear everything. Um, yeah, I think that's good now. Okay, one. Saves to Y. Now that it saves to Y, we advance one by manual clocking it. Get saved there. We do this, execute.
<coughs> now when this is finished, I should probably add a blinking light for the uh, clock just to show that it's running. Let's get rid of this and let's do that. It's going to end up plotting a point here and a point there. Point there. Yeah. So that's the difference. Um, because one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that six? That's how that works. Alright, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up if you think this is pretty impressive to do in Minecraft. I'd just like to give a shout out to Ice and MC on YouTube, or his in game name is IceGlade162. And the reason for that is. I had all the hardware and everything, but he's like, this needs to go here, and then I was like, okay, that doesn't work. He's like, well, just do this, and so I did that, and it worked. Granted, he didn't help me with it a lot. I'm kind of glad he didn't do that, otherwise I wouldn't have learned from it. So, shout out to him. I'll leave a link in the in the description about that. Um, if you want a tutorial, like I said before, you could do I could do a four by four tutorial. But that's not going to be pr pretty fun for graphing. So I guess I'll do a tutorial on 4x4, and then I'll expand it to be larger, and then do a tutorial on how to actually make one of these. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.